Our architecture is too humble. It should be prouder, more aggressive, much richer and larger than we see today. I would like to do my part in expanding that richness. I was only 19 when my father died. I never really came to terms with who he was, what his work meant. Now it's a great joy to come back and understand what he did and how he did it. It's kind of a magical mystery tour for me. One finds that many different shapes are equally logical. Some exciting, some earthbound, some soaring. The choices really become a sculptor's choices. It's literally perched on these corners, just like the arch, or just like everything else he does. It's a magic trick. I, I, I kind of looked at it and I said to myself, you know, if I were a, a veterinarian, I wouldn't know how to treat this animal because it's not a horse, but it's not a camel. Do I treat it like a horse? Do I treat it like a camel? You know, you scratch your head a little bit. Cool idea, but how does the roof stay up? Work was the most important thing for him. I always resented my father for literally abandoning my mother, my sister, and me but I never saw it from his point of view. Closure was something I didn't have with my dad, but I forgive him for his genius. <laughs> you know, how can you not forgive somebody for being a genius?